In this video, we will learn how to use Bordeaux Hishon method in checking second order condition of a constrained optimization function. This question I got from the telegram. The question is maximize utility function that is u is equal to x y plus x where x and y are the two goods u denotes the utility subject to the budget constraint. This is our budget constraint that is a uh, price of good x is 6 that means 6 x plus 2 y is equal to 110 denotes the income. Okay, we need to find the optimal values of uh, good x and good y. Also, we have to use the border Hishan, uh, you know, to check the second order condition. Okay, so first thing is first, what we need to do, we need to maximize our utility function, which is u is equal to x, y plus x. Okay, we want to maximize this utility function subject to the budget constraint what is our budget constraint that is 6x uh, plus uh, 2y is equal to 110 okay first uh, part is to find the optimal values okay so then we will use the border Hishan to check the second order condition now to find out the optimal values what we need to do first step is to set this constraint equal to zero okay we set this constraint equal to zero let me write it like this 110 minus 6x minus 2y okay i have just transposed all terms on one side and set it equal to zero this is the first step second step is to multiply this constraint with lambda okay let's multiply it with lambda third step is to form the languages function okay let's denote it by l so we need to form the languages function okay languages function is formed by adding our utility function and this resulting constraint okay so we add these two functions so we have uh, x y plus x okay so our you know languages uh, function is formed by adding this utility function and this resulting constraint okay so plus we have this lambda here okay let me write it lambda then we have uh, 110 110 minus 6x minus 2y okay i hope i make myself clear so first thing was to set this constraint equal to zero after that multiply this constraint with lambda uh, third step is to form the languages function in such a way you add this utility function or what we call also the objective function and this resulting constraint this is our languages function okay now to find the optimal values of good x and good y what we need to do we need to take the partial derivatives of this languages function with respect to x y and lambda and set them equal to zero simultaneously simple thing so first we take uh, the partial derivative with respect to x so let us denote by l subscript x is the partial derivative of this function with respect to x okay so if I take this partial derivative with respect to x, uh, in the first term, the derivative of x is 1, so we are left with y. In the second term, the derivative of x is 1, so we are left with 1. In this term, uh, only x is in the middle term, so derivative of x is 1, so we are left with minus 6, and minus 6 into lambda is minus 6 lambda, so we have minus 6 lambda, and we set it equal to 0, okay? In the same uh, process, we take the derivative with respect to y, that is the partial derivative of this function with respect to y. So in the first term, we have y, its derivative is 1, so we are left with x. Okay, in the second term, we don't have any y value, so its derivative will be 0. In this term, uh, the derivative of y in the last term is 1, so we are left with minus 2. Now, minus 2 into lambda is minus 2 lambda. Obviously, in the derivatives of the first two terms is equal to 0 because no y is involved, okay? Okay, let me be clear here. So, we have x minus 2 lambda is equal to 0, okay? And after that, we take the derivative with respect to lambda and also set it equal to 0. So, since no lambda is involved in the first two terms, lambda is only in the third term, let's, the derivative of the lambda is obviously zero here. So, we are left with 110 minus 6 
sorry the derivative of lambda is 1 here okay so we are left with this term 6x minus 2y is equal to 0 okay i hope i am making myself clear now let us solve these uh, terms for x and y okay so for that let me save some space here uh, i can do one thing if i just uh, transpose this minus 6 lambda term on rhs so it will become plus lam uh, 6 lambda here it will also become plus 2 lambda okay so i hope you know why i am doing this so let us equate it so it will become plus uh, 6 lambda here it will become plus 2 lambda okay let us say this is equation first uh, this is equation second and we don't need this equation at all here because we only need to find out the value of x and y okay so let's divide equation first by equation second so dividing equation first by equation second what will we get we will get uh, y plus 1 upon on the lhs we have x here is equal to 6 lambda upon 2 lambda now lambda lambda will get cancelled uh, two ones are two threes are so we are left with here three okay so this term vanishes to three so let's cross multiply here so we have three x uh, three x is equal to uh, y plus one y plus one or our y is equal to 3x minus 1 okay now let's uh, put this very result uh, in equation first okay if i put in this value uh, in the equation first what will i get let me see that very thing also so if i put it uh, in this equation sorry let's uh, put it in our budget constraint okay so we put the value of y is equal to this thing into our budget constraint that means our six uh, x plus uh, we have two uh, in place of y we have this three uh, x minus one is equal to 110 okay so we have 6x uh, plus 2 3s are 6x minus 2 is equal to 110 so we have 12x is equal to transposing this minus 2 here it will get added with this one and 110 plus 2 is equal to 112 which gives us x is equal to 112 upon 12 and 112 upon 12 mm. uh, let us multiply rather take the factor with respect to 4 okay so 4 3s are 12 we are left with 4 2s are 8 9 10 11 so we have 32 so this is 28 upon 3 so x is equal to 28 upon 3 i am really sorry for the background noise i cannot control this okay so so we have the optimal value of x comes out to be 28 upon 3 okay so this is our optimal value of uh, x now what is the optimal value of y just plug this value of x is equal to 28 upon 3 here that means our y will be equal to 3 the value of x which we got here 28 upon 3 minus 1 so 3 3 gets cancelled we are left with 28 minus 1 uh, which comes out to be 27 okay so optimal value of good y will be 27 and optimal value of good x will be okay uh, 28 upon 3 okay i hope i make myself clear so uh, let me uh, write um, these uh, terms here so x is equal to x is equal to 28 upon 3 and y is equal to 27 which are the optimal values okay or critical values so let me wrap this out so this was part first coming to the part second we need to check the second order condition
so when x is equal to 28 upon 3 y is equal to 27 we say our uh, this is actually our first order condition okay i forgot to uh, you know explain this so we are just still looking for the first order condition first order condition tells us take the partial derivative of the Lagrange function with respect to x y and lambda set them equal to zero and solve simultaneously for x and y you will get the you know optimal values we call this first order condition okay for maximization now to check second order condition we use the bordered hishan method here okay now second order condition is being checked by bordered hishan method okay so we need to uh, form a matrix here what we call the bordered hishan matrix let me first form this and then i will explain what exactly does it mean okay so let me write it here uh, zero c of x c of y c of x c of y okay i will explain what is meant by the, these very things then we write here l of x x l of x y l of y x and l of y y this determinant is called the bordered hishon sorry this matrix is called the bordered hishon matrix okay this uh, matrix is actually a plane hishan okay this uh, is called the plane hishan let me be clear with the, uh, this so this is called the plane hishan plane hishan and what exactly is this uh, plane hishan this uh, plane hishan is a matrix which is composed of second order derivatives of this Lagrange's function okay with second order direct partials on the principal diagonal and second order cross partials on non-principal diagonal okay our plane hishan is being bordered by the partial derivatives of you know constraint function okay so uh, first derivatives of constraint uh, you know constraint function and zero on the principal diagonal okay simple thing we have this plane hishan which is bordered by the uh, first derivatives of this constraint function with zero on principal diagonal now what is uh, c of x here so c of x let me write it here c of x means taking partial derivative of this function with respect to x so derivative of x is 1 so we are left with 6 only now what is c of y c of y is c subscript of y means the partial derivative of constant function with respect to y so derivative of y is 1 so we are left with 2 now what is our uh, l of x x and l of x y so l of x x means taking the second derivative of this Lagrange's function with respect to x okay so this was the first derivative here you can see now taking second derivative uh, with respect to x since no x is involved here so its derivative is zero now what is l of x y now again taking the second derivative of this function with respect to y so l of x y will be derivative of y is one so we are left with one similarly uh, l of y x okay now this is our l of y mm, the derivative of this function with respect to x we are left with one only okay because oh okay because we have x here and l of y y that means taking the derivative of this first derivative function again with respect to y since no y is involved here so we are left with zero okay now we just need to plug these here so our hishan determinant will be equal to so we have zero on the principal diagonal c of x which we got here six c of y is two then we have l okay we have here six again two again then l x x we got it zero or let me show it with this color to make it more 
beautiful here so l of x x 0 l of x y x y is 1 l of y x is 1 l of y y is 0 now take the determinant of this okay so let's draw the bar here uh, okay now what is the condition for uh, you know which we need to check we are checking the second order condition now if the determinant of this let me write it here if the determinant of this hishan function a bordered hishan uh, matrix is let me write it here less than zero we say this is positive definite this bordered hishan is positive definite so we have here positive definite okay and positive definite uh, satisfies the condition for minimum okay so if we have positive definite we say it satisfies the condition for minimum then our function then our critical values lie at the minimum if the determinant of this and we will check here obviously if it comes out to be greater than zero we say it is negative definite okay negative definite and this negative definite implies or satisfies the condition for maximum in this case we will say our uh, you know uh, critical values satisfy the um, condition for maximum okay and if it uh, comes out to be zero then this test is inconclusive okay so we don't use this test then at all now let's take the derivative of this sorry i am you know obsessed with the derivatives but here let's take the determinant of this function this we also call this uh, i forgot to tell you second order principal minor okay so taking determinant so actually it is only here h h okay now it's determinant will be equal to so we have zero first okay so we write the first element then mentally delete this row and this column and take derivative of sorry take the determinant of the remaining element so 0 0 are 0 minus 1 1 are 1 after that we write the second second term and it is actually negative here so first is positive this is negative then positive okay so sign is changed alternatively you know from the uh, you know law of the matrix matrix properties so we have minus 6 and in in this process we mentally delete the row and the column in which the second element appears and take the determinant of the remaining elements okay so deleting this row and this column we are left with 6 2 1 0 so 6 0 are 0 minus 2 1 are 2 then we write uh, plus the last term sorry last element in the first row and in this case we mentally delete this row and this column and take determinant of the remaining element so six ones are six minus zero uh, two zeros are zero solving it so zero times anything is zero so we have minus six minus two this is a six two are twelve positive plus here two six are twelve again positive that means our uh, and this second bar second principal minor or the determinant of this Hishon matrix is equal to 24 which is greater than 0 and I have told you when the determinant of this border Hishon matrix is greater than 0 it is called positive definite also okay it is positive definite and a positive definite determinant satisfies the condition for maximum okay so we got the maximum here okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you